What does World Press Freedom Day mean to me? Well, it's about allowing us journalists to do our jobs freely and safely, to ultimately protect your access, your right to information, to the truth. But let's hear from some of our Al Jazeera colleagues too. Doing our jobs freely and independently without the threat of violence, intimidation, or censorship. That's what World Press Freedom Day means to me. It means the ability to be able to do our jobs without the fear of being targeted because we're journalists, whether that's being detained, being intimidated, harassed, shot at. Uh, it might sound like simple, basic demands, but it is becoming far more difficult these days. Press freedom to me means the ability to report on a story unfettered and unchained, and also to hold those in positions of power accountable to their actions without any fear of ramifications. In my current job, I normally work in places like this, the United Nations, but in the past I've worked in conflict zones. I've known journalists who've been imprisoned, journalists who've been killed, journalists harassed, journalists intimidated. This day is about them. Palestinian journalists are often targeted. Not only this, they cannot access places where they want to report their stories. Their freedom of movement is often restricted by checkpoints like this one. In World Press Freedom Day, I'm hoping to be free to report on any story I want. It's a day to remember the sacrifices, threats, and persecution that journalists face all over the world, and also a day to remind ourselves of our resolve to continue to bring you unbiased, fact-based information without any bias and free of fear or favor. World Press Freedom Day is a day where the role of free press is recognized and the risks journalists take to deliver the truth is appreciated. If we don't have the freedom to report fairly, impartially, then we can't hold power to account. And to me, that's everything. I work predominantly in a country where journalists have the right to work. But many of my colleagues around the world don't enjoy those same freedoms and often work under very dangerous and trying conditions and today recognizes the important work they do.